All right, part two of our composite solid volume series. When we say composite solids, what we're talking about are solids that are sort of combined or put together, in this case, put on top of one another to form sort of a very complex solid. So we're looking at a cone sitting on top of a cylinder. And our job is to figure out the volume of the entire solid. So the cone volume plus the cylinder volume. We're looking to find that whole thing. So if we're thinking volume, right, we're, we're trying to hopefully visualize if we were to pour water in this thing, how much stuff can go on the inside, how much water can fit on the inside of this thing. So we're going to basically just find the volume of the cone and add it to the volume of the cylinder. That's our plan of attack. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start with the volume of the cone. Volume of the cone is, I'll go over here and do it this way. Volume of the cone is, uh, if I remember correctly, one third pi r squared times h. And let's see, we have h is three and the r, well the r of the cone is going to be the radius of the cone, so the distance from here to here. Well that's the same as the radius of the cylinder. The diameter of the cylinder is 7.2, so the radius must be half of that, or 3.6. We're going to square that, multiply it by 3. A uh, cool part about this is we have 1 third and 3, 1 third times 3, well, they just cancel out. This cancels with this. One third and three. So we have three on the bottom, big three over here. So really we have 3.6 squared times pi. So let's go to our calculator and we'll see what we get. 3.6 squared times pi. This is the volume of the cone, 40.715 feet cubed. So that's V cone. Volume of the cylinder, and I'll take it over here since this is a nice empty space. Volume of the cylinder is very similar to the volume of the cone. It's a little easier, in fact. It's actually three times bigger than the volume of the cone. In other words, there's no one-third in front of it. Radius, again, is 3.6. Height of the cylinder, though, this time is 19. The height of the cylinder goes from here all the way down to here. So again, we just want to get our calculator out here and calculate, let's see, 19 times pi times 3.6. 6 squared. 773.586. 7, 773.586. That's volume of the cylinder. And all we want to do is add those two together. So we're going to take this right here and add it to this right here to get our total volume. So I'll just press plus 40.715.04079. We'll call it that. 814V total. 814.001 cubic feet. That's how much water or liquid or anything would fit inside of our composite solid. 814.301, sorry. This should be a three. Great, number two. I purposely put this one on here because it is also a cone on top of a cylinder. So let's do the same thing. 
We're going to find the volume of the cylinder first, excuse me, the cone first, which is the, of course, solid on top. Find the volume of that thing first. So the volume of the cone is, again, one-third the volume of a cylinder. The radius is four. You can see that the whole radius at the bottom is eight. Excuse me, the diameter is eight, so the radius has to be four. And the height of the cone, we're just looking for the height of the cone, which would go from here up to here. Well, the whole height of the entire composite solid is 26. Take away 19, leaves you with seven. That's seven. And we're going to add that to. We're going to add that to the volume of the cylinder, which is just pi r squared h. Pi the radius is four squared times h. The h the height of the cylinder is 19. It's just 19. So we're going to simply add those two things together, right there and there. And I'll do it all at once in my calculator. So let's see, we have 1 divided by 3 times pi times 4 squared is 16 times 7 plus 4 squared is 16 pi times 19. So I get 1072.330. Ten seventy-two point three three, and that is in cubic meters. That's volume of the whole thing, volume total. Right there. So you notice that second time, what I did is I just kind of entered it in all at once, and uh, did it that way. And whereas in the first example, I entered it, I found the volume of the cone, pressed enter, volume of the cylinder, press enter. But that actually required me to like copy over a ton of decimals and stuff. So doing it this way, I'm letting my calculator work for me.